over here pulling up to their car show. There's a lot of cars already parked. This is a business place and Titans over there. So it's gonna, oh, here it is. Show, wait, that's a bunch of FRS. Why are there so many FRS's? Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> um, where, what am I supposed to do? I don't even know what I'm doing. So there's a concrete wall over there. I need you to drive as fast as you can. Unbuckle your harness. You ever seen those crash dummy videos? Oh my God, no. What? <laughs> really? I haven't seen no, such videos. I don't know what you're talking about. If you just go ahead and drive straight through, you've got a spot in the gates over there. You're just gonna park there, okay? You'll Gate, see. All the way you'll down. You'll see Keegan and Tommy. And, yeah, all the way at the end on the concrete wall, okay? Am I able to two-step over there or no? No. There's oh. a cop right there. Oh. Good Sorry. Thing I, that sucks. Unless you want to dyno. No. Oh, I don't. Okay. I only make like 350 horsepower. I know it's embarrassing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's pull up over there. I got my cool spot over here next to the Black Pearl and Keegan's. No, that's, wait, that's, that is Keegan's car. I thought it was John's for a second. <laughs> wait, I haven't even gone over here. All right, Tommy's car that he bought already built is over there. That, that skyline with a nice paint job that's not black, black like my car. Yeah, that one. And that nice silver right here and a green Jeep. Why is there why is there a green Jeep on the drift club thing? Drift Jeep. Drift Jeep. What? I'm showing for the first time the quills. So nobody has seen them yet because uh, the quill videos should be uploading today, but I'm at the event today. I also decided to like clean the hood yesterday. Actually, the shiniest part of the car is under the hood. And then under the hood over there, too. <laughs> also, decided to add this new lip that came with the Street Fighter LA kit. It came out kind of weird, but it looks better than no lip. Here's Marco, getting here super late. Looks like Marco's car is gonna be up next to the dyno, but his battery died, so John and King are over here trying to jump start. So we have over here Capitana Jack Sparrow's car. Oh yeah, Jack Sparrow? <laughs> Miss Sparrow, please. No, Capitana Jack Sparrow, here you go. Yay! In Spanish, Spanglish name. <laughs> Spanglish? <laughs> hey! Why they're working on your car and you're Apparently, drinking coffee over the there? The car's up for the dyno. I didn't even yeah. know. You're always late, man. I turned them off, but it's dead. The drop box is on. Just turn it off. It's dead. Come on, I want to hear ticking noises again. Uh, yeah, it does have a little. Uh... Oh. Come on! Come on, baby. Are we gonna have to push it? No. It sounds like we're gonna have to push it.
We got the little squad going over here and I got also, I didn't mention Keegan's B36 which is LS3 power. This is the car that's always like going really hard on this ride. Super powerful, got like 570 horsepower. And then next to it, we got my A36. Hopefully I don't get 500 horsepower soon. I think we are now gonna be heading out of the car show because uh, we want to go eat and then we want to go go-karting afterwards so we got the whole squad together. I'm gonna beat you this time, you know? Yeah, it's happening. We ended up coming to eat first at my favorite place, at my favorite place ever. And then we got the cool lineup over here. We got this little factory slow skyline over here <laughs> then you got this super fast e36 right. and now what now we're going to park so far back with the evo then we got another r32 skyline and an s13 sylvia and then sarah parked her mustang all the way over there instead of parking in this available spot right here Navo, are you here for the food? Oh, I am here. Oh, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know. That's the question I always got. You here for the food? Like, I don't know. Uh, he doesn't we'll know, see. right? We'll see. Well, everybody got their food, and then my food is not here because uh, they burned my sandwich. So they got their stuff here. I'm good. I'm good for now. Uh, wait, you're gonna I'll get one of them. She didn't even know they make that. No, I'm gonna wait a little bit. You're gonna wait. Eat up. Squad heading now to Andrietti. Let's go. Navo, I bet you won't get there before I do. Go karting yesterday was super fun, but I didn't bring my helmet, so I could not record it. Also, it was really, really noisy inside Andretti, so I would have made a really bad video because there was a lot of like background noise from all the arcade machines and everything. But now, I am finally doing the most important thing I should have been doing to my car in a very long time, which is setting up the correct ignition triggers for my car so I can finally run good. Uh, apparently, after changing the coils, the coils wasn't really most of the issue. I mean, it could have been a little bit, but the main problem that I'm having right now is uh, that my triggers are getting out of sync because uh, they're not set up correctly. So I have my friend all the way from Canada, Mr. Daniel from Post Haste Performance, and he's gonna remote to my car all the way from Canada. This is so cool. Like I have my phone with the hotspot and he's going on my tune and he's checking everything all the way from over there through the team viewer app. Then I have my tablet here so I can use Messenger to communicate with him for the instructions. All right guys, so right now we made this progress where I had the issue that my cam signal, it wasn't, it's supposed to sync right in between two of these and it was always one-sided so then at higher RPM my cam sync was moving from one thief to another and it wasn't steady. So now this is how the proper way to fix this. So right now we're working on this. I have Shays over here working the ignition so I can crank it. And I'm over here on the other side. I had to put my jacket to cover the light and I have a timing gun. And then I have Daniel on the iPad talking to me, giving me all the instructions over all the way from Canada. You got anything to say, Mr. Daniel? Hey guys, Daniel from Post Size Performance. We're up in uh, Vancouver, BC. Uh, glad to be helping you today, Alberta. Let's see if we can get you on. Yeah. We've been trying to tune all day and I was uh, having a little bit of issues with the white band and now it finally died. So that means tomorrow I'm gonna have to get another white band sensor. I tried playing with the map just by filling out the car on the highway little by little and this is what I got so far. Made it better but tomorrow hopefully Aurelia has her white band in stock and I can replace it and then continue with the tuning. Open we will 
changing, everything will be alright.